Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving a d3dx9 underscore 43.dll file is missing error you are coming across on your Windows computer. This should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the web browser of our choice, doesn't matter which one. And we're just going to go ahead and open that up. Now into Google, you want to go ahead and search up DirectX and user runtime, and then just search for that. You want to select the Microsoft domain. This is download DirectX and user runtime web installer. Go ahead and just select that. And now you should just make sure the language is correct here, which most people watching this should be English. And then select the download option that corresponds to that right next to it, that orange download button. This will take a moment to begin downloading, so just be patient. And once it's done downloading, just go ahead and open it up once by clicking on it and then select yes. You receive a user account control prompt. It says welcome to setup for DirectX. Go ahead and agree to the license terms and select next. We can uncheck and sell the Bing bar. That's not necessary unless you want the Bing bar, of course. And then we're going to go select next. And then select next again. Looks like it go up about 44 megabytes there. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and select finish. And then I would suggest restarting your computer and then hopefully the issue should be resolved if you go ahead and run the installer you're having the issue with. And if you're still having a problem, another thing you can try here would be to go ahead and open up the start menu once again. Or I don't think we've actually opened it up yet, so I guess for the first time for this tutorial. And type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan out. Scan out should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin running the system scan. It will take some time. Please be patient. <laughs>
Okay, so once that's done, it did say found corrupt files, so I would suggest restarting your computer, and then once you've restarted your device, hopefully your issue will have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.